Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna build a mobile app uh, using native script and we'll integrate with Firebase. So um, to start with, uh, let's log into the Firebase and here you're gonna create a project, um, add project. And um, I have already a lot of projects here. Um, so let's create a, so as part of this project, we're gonna build one login module, login component, registr registration component. So um, where user can uh, log in with its email ID and password and, uh, and he can create um, a new account as well by providing the um, email ID and password, okay? So let's simple login. Create a project here. So by that time, let's go to the command line and Create a project. Okay, the project is created here. Now let's. You can add this project. Like you can develop iOS, Android, or you know web as well. So as I'm gonna show you the mobile app using iOS. So I am going to add the Firebase to my iOS app. So for that, you need to first create a project. You need to have the project ID. Put it over here. So for that, into TNS create. It's a simple login app minus 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 ng for angular native script we are going to use um we are not using native script core component here and before typing tns uh, create uh, you should have tns for um, native script so you should have um npm i native script minus c so to install native script you need to um type this command uh, once this is done then you need to use this other command i said tns create simple login app minus minus ng so um, it will create a scaffolding of your project Once it's done, you can go to your simple login app project, open in Atom Editor. Let's take this ID and put it over here, the bundle ID. Once you do this, You have a Google service info queue list and you can get this and put it over here. App, app resources, iOS under here. Okay. And you need to have a app entitlement file which you can create here app dot entitlements okay now let's copy paste from my github project i think to avoid coding we can to avoid typing we can copy the same stuff which i've already created an app it's gonna save some time and i can explain in detail so let's go here Copy the stuff from here. Put in the code entitlements. Okay. Now let's create some components. As I said, like you know, we're gonna create login component, register component. So let's create some component here. Inside app components. Login component, another folder, register component. Let's have a home component as well. Because after logging in, we need to land up, land into the home page. So let's create home.component.html. Home.component. 
so PS5. Inside login folder, we can have login dot component dot ts5. So can have login dot component dot html. Same likewise here, register dot component dot html. And you can have a register dot component dot ts5 and we'll have a service called firebase service dot ts here we need to create a services folder where we'll have So to talk to the Firebase, we need to have a plugin installed here. TNS plugin add. Let's get it from my Twitter. Let's get plugin Firebase. This plugin has been written by a person called Eddie. He has already done the hard work. We're just gonna use this plugin to connect to the Firebase. say yes 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 whatever yes whatever no I mean we just need to use this right it will create a JSON file here Firebase net history JSON so we're gonna use using iOS so let's go here and enable the authentication by that time let's go to the authentication folder here sign in method we're going to use email id password approach so disable enable save it okay so this part is done now let's copy paste our um, components from my github repo so that we can save some time Sorry. YouTube is just allowing us to record for 15 minutes, so I'm just trying to wrap up within 15 minutes. So let's copy paste this code from home component.ts file. Put it here. Then home component.html. Now let's go ahead and uh, add this login component. Likewise, you have a register component where users can go ahead and um, register with uh, his email ID and password. Now register component.ts file. Okay, we need to create a model because in the login page we'll have the email ID and password. And um, as you have seen here, it's a component.html and all. You have this there are two a data binding where ng model user.email and also these are um, available in the component.ts where we are using it. So we have to have the model class as well inside models folder. Let's 
create the user dot model dot ts file export class user in our string password string okay we are done with this now this app model dot ts we can copy this app model dot ts Uh, the scaffolding project already created app model.ts, but we need to have our component. We can replace either we can add our components here uh, in the module section. In the provider, we can have provider service. We don't need item service and all, it's the default one which comes with the um, template. So, app model.ts is ready. Now we need to have the routing.ts. Okay, then in the last, we're gonna um, change our main.ts, not change. This will add the Firebase installation stuff in that uh, main.ts file. This particular piece. So that's all, our coding is done. In the next video, I'm gonna uh, explain you in detail um, whatever we have uh, developed so far, I mean, whatever we have Mm, added so far then we'll run this uh, application in simulator to see how it works uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video